Hello everyone, welcome to the Careers with O'Connor's session, first one of the day. Um, before we get started, uh, we just have to read out um, an important notice for all our attendees. Um, so all Wimmera Southern Mallee Len seminars are moderated and supervised um, by me, Sam. Any behaviour deemed unacceptable uh, by, uh, and, uh, by the moderator will result in removal. Unacceptable behaviour includes, but is not limited to bullying, attempts at disruption, inappropriate questioning or chat, the sharing of images or personal information. Uh, the webinar is automatically recorded with strict, attend uh, strict adherence to privacy principles set out by the Privacy Act and the Department of Education's Child Safe Policy, uh, Child Safe Regulations. Any identifiable or personal information will be removed prior to distribution or promotion of content. Information on the Wimmera Southern Mallee Lens Child Safe Policy can be found at our website. Uh, we acknowledge the traditional owners of all the different um, Aboriginal countries, each of us are viewing the in on from today, and pay our respects to elders past, present and future, past, present, future and emerging, and to any Aboriginal people present here today. <clears throat> so before we get started, um, any questions for Brittany will be answered at the end. Um, we'll start with a video from O'Connor's first, and then we will go into a presentation. So I'd like to welcome Brittany Frost, the Human Resources Manager at O'Connor's, and I will try and start the video now. If there's any technical issues, um, just feel free to send them through in the Q&A section, uh, or, if, or if you have any questions for Brittany in general, just send them through to the Q&A. They are our greatest asset and without our staff and without our people, it's really, we're not doing any business anywhere. We do all our business face to face wherever we can. So people who are, have integrity, have good communication skills and are willing to just have a go. Hi, I'm Corey. I'm an apprentice diesel mechanic from O'Connor's. Uh, I've been working there for about three and a half years now. Uh, what I like most about my role is it's very re rewarding and satisfying when you get to see jobs from start to finish, uh, especially those ones where you have to diagnose a problem and do a lot of problem solving to figure out, figure out the cause of the issue. Uh, as well, on bigger jobs such as engine rebuild or anything like that, uh, it's very satisfying getting to see that from start to finish and having it all work properly at the end. Uh, what I like most about working for O'Connor's is the large variety of stuff you get to work on, um, lots of different machines and uh, implements and stuff like that. It's never the same thing every day. It's very interesting uh, to come to work. Um, as well, you can branch off into specific areas uh, if that's what you want to do. Initially, uh, O'Connor's, I thought, uh, was like every sort of place, uh, a big corporation. But uh, you know, once I got here, I realised that uh, all the all the people are really friendly. Uh, it's a good environment to work at. They really care about you, and there's a lot of places you can go with your career. My name is Melissa Freeman and I'm the parts manager at O'Connor's in Shepparton. I've been in this role almost two years. Um, career progression for this role, uh, back when I was in high school, I did work experience at some car dealerships. Um, I grew up on a farm and knew what working long hours felt like. So I wanted a job where you could finish at five and then go out and play sport and hang out with your friends. Doing work experience helped me find a job in spare parts. I've been working in spare parts department for about 15 years. Um, I've been able to travel a lot different places like Europe, UK, New Zealand and all across Australia.
Hi, my name is Daniel Westland. I'm a third year apprentice mechanic here with O'Connor's in Warwick Nabeel. The aspects I like most about my role here are getting to work on a wide variety of machines and the opportunities given to me to learn more skills as a diesel mechanic, both in the field and in the workshop. The things I like most about working for O'Connor's is the support and opportunities given to us to learn new aspects of the role and new skills needed to be a diesel mechanic. Apprentice out of the Connors. I uh, started out as a school based apprentice when I was in year 11, so when I started, I walked off a year when I came second year. But yeah, what I like about the Connors, um, just learn something every day, come to work, you know, it's good and like, yeah, good career here, so something in the ag business, yeah, can move forward. I use an online parts catalogue to search for parts for customers. The farmer usually rings up or texts in photos or emails us. Some farmers even send in pictures of what they're after on Snapchat or Messenger. The job's a lot easier to communicate now that everyone has mobile phones with cameras. Um, we have trucks coming in with parts orders throughout the day. Most arrive in the morning. Sometimes heavier items are left for afternoon trucks. I get to drive the forklift around to unload these. I spend a lot of time tracking where parts are. This is pretty much the same as online shopping when you get to um, you get to email with the tracking info of your parcel. Every part we keep in stock has its own unique location. It's a bit like a library, but you can use the computer to look up the location of the part. I like this to be super organised, every part put away straight away. Um, my favourite part of the job, uh, helping out my team, a large part of my job being a manager, I need to make sure my team have everything they need to do their job and that they're happy. Also helping customers, sometimes even visiting customers out in the field. I really enjoy this. In the last three years, I've built a workshop um, up pretty much from the ground up um, and it's been a bit of a challenging, challenging experience but quite an enjoyable one too. I've learned a lot about myself and a lot, of, a lot more skills. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, I know Sam's already done a bit of an introduction but I'll just do a brief intro again. Uh, my name's Brittany and I am the HR Officer for O'Connor, so I take care of all things recruitment across the 10 locations, um, including apprenticeships and also organising work placement and work experience. My office is based in Bendigo, but I did start my position four years ago in the Horsham dealership um, in the same role that I do now. So I get to travel to all the dealerships to catch up with staff when I can and really enjoy working for O'Connor's and all the opportunities that come with it. Um, if you are interested in finding out any more information about anything I talk about today, please feel free to contact me. All my contact details will be listed on the last slide, so you'll have a chance to write them down. And if there, and there is also an option to ask questions through the chat along the way. So. Um, so just to start with, I'll just do a bit of a background on O'Connor's. Um, so we're a family owned business with Mark and Dennis O'Connor, the sons of JJ pictured on this slide, and they still sit on the board. The culture and values of the company are instilled in O'Connor's brand from the family. So it's really important to O'Connor's to continue to represent these. And that starts with the recruitment of our staff. Uh, the first dealership opened in Warwick in 1964, and we've grown to 10 dealerships over the years um, with the most recent dealership additions happening just last year. Our predominant brand is Case IH, but um, we also sell a range of other ag machinery brands with the larger machinery with sales support and service being worth over half a million dollars. Uh, the main franchise is Case IH. We sell the entire horsepower range of their tractors, starting from the 25 horsepower through to the mother of all tractors, the 600 horsepower Steiger, as well as combine harvesters, 
bailers um, and the premium self-propelled sprayer, the Patriot. We sell other ag franchises also in areas of tillage, telehandlers, tow behind sprayers and other hay equipment. Uh, we also offer precision ag solutions and have a small team of dedicated people installing the technology, getting machines to talk to each other, making sure they're steering accurately and supporting customers to use the technology. Um, so just on to the next slide, um, a bit about our locations. So all the dealerships, as you can see pictured here, are basically run the same. So each dealership will have an admin team, a parts department, service department and sales department, with the exception of Warwick who also have a Mitsubishi department, and Horsham, who have an engineering and truck department. Now, the machinery offered in each dealership does differ slightly with what is the predominant machinery used by customers and sold by our sales team. And this is determined by the agricultural area in which the dealership is located. However, all the dealerships do have an element of broadacre farming. Um, so, for example, somewhere like Shepparton does a lot of dairy farming and orchards um, and use a, a lot of small machinery in that area. So compared to Horsham, Warwick Bill and Birchett with, with uh, more broadacre farms using more commonly larger machinery like combines and large tractors. Um, and as you can see on that slide there, the years that all the dealerships have opened over the time. So um career opportunities at O'Connor so across the group there's so many opportunities and career paths to choose from most commonly known are the positions within our service department so we offer positions um, starting from apprentice qualified service techs service administration service managers and automotive technicians um, the most common entry point in this department is starting as an apprentice which opens the door to future opportunities um, and promotions and that sort of thing. So we've had quite a lot of apprentices that have started as in their apprenticeship role and become senior techs, branch managers and even service managers as well. So there's definitely a lot of room for growth. Um, in the sales department, we've got our machinery sales positions in each dealership and also have opportunities in automotive sales, tech support specialists, sales managers and marketing opportunities as well. Um, Precision Agricultural Department, we have designated teams in Horsham and Shepparton in technician and support roles, installing and supporting our customers to use the technology across the group. An entry level position in this field would be as an auto elect um, apprentice. Our parts department entry level position would be as a parts trainee. So um, in this role, you'd complete a traineeship in automotive sales. The opportunities in this department are being a parts interpreter, parts manager, retail parts manager and after sales support. Uh, our engineering department, which is based in Horsham, um, so you get to work on a range of projects, including making new trays, comb trailers, um, RTK towers, which is part of the precision ag department, um, general fabrication. And we have a lot of custom orders for our from our customers as well when they've got specific needs they might want to meet for their farming. Uh, you can complete an apprenticeship in engineering, become a qualified manufacturer, engineering manager, and this department also includes opportunities in painting as well. Um, and finally, the admin department across all our dealerships provide plenty of opportunities as well. So from reception and admin duties, accounts payable, finance and accounting roles, payroll, IT, HR and management positions in dealerships as well. Um, so just a bit about the full-time apprenticeships and traineeships that we offer at O'Connor's. Um, as you can see on the slide, sorry, the few things have crossed over there, making it a bit harder to read. Um, the apprenticeships and traineeships that we offer annually, annually are written down there. Um, in addition to these, there's also the auto elect course and business admin as well that come up from time to time. Uh, we really encourage all students to complete Year 12. The literacy, numeracy and computer skills acquired are crucial to apprenticeship positions in your future careers. So whether it's a, as a service tech, servicing machinery, becoming a parts interpreter, uh, working in the engineering department or even business admin and our management roles as well. Um, with O'Connor's large network and relationship with Case IH, the training and development opportunities to allow you to reach your full potential and grow your career are excellent. Uh, regular Case IH product training, trade school, opportunity to travel to other dealerships, uh, experience working on a range of machinery and vehicles and working with a large number of people 
across the 10 locations are all part of the benefits of a career with O'Connors. Um, so I've just got a little question on this slide, so you can pop these in the comments section as well. Is anyone currently completing automotive or agricultural subjects while completing school? Um, so now just some more opportunities for students from years 10 to 12, so everyone listening today. Um, we certainly encourage the use of work experience and work placement. So if you're thinking about completing apprenticeship or traineeship, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about organising work experience um, so you can get the chance to experience the role and help you decide if, there is a, if that is a career path you want to take. Um, this is also a good foot in the door for future opportunities and apprenticeships with O'Connors. Uh, we also offer school-based apprenticeships from time to time, um, allowing students to complete Year 12 while starting work towards your apprenticeship. Once you have completed a school-based apprenticeship with us, you can then apply for full-time apprenticeship um, on completion of Year 12. And I've just listened to a bit of a webinar this morning as well with the current climate and coronavirus, the um, importance of completing Year 12 and um, completing further skills and that sort of thing with work experience and that sort of thing are going to become really crucial, I think. So that's a good um, foot in the door for everyone. Um, a question on this slide, has anyone actually completed work experience with O'Connors from year 10 to 12, um, depending on what year you're in now? Um, and which dealership did you complete your work experience or work placement at? Um, just a bit more on apprenticeships for everyone. So O'Connors recruit new apprentices in each dealership at the beginning of each year. So um, we've got 10 dealerships across South Australia, Victoria and New South Wales, and every year we put new apprentices on in each location. Um, and we take much pride in the recruitment and selection process um, to employ the best candidates with who display passion, excellent communication skills, commitment and a general willingness to learn and have a go. Um, so for your chance to apply for the 2021 Apprenticeship Program intake, keep an eye on our social media and careers website, um, which will be live August, September, so a bit later this year. Um, there'll be information packs and that sort of thing that are available. Now that sums up everything um, I wanted to just touch base with and make you all aware of. So that concludes the webinar, but if there's any questions, feel free to send them through now or contact me on the details on your screen here um, and I'd be happy to have a chat or respond to any emails throughout the day or in the coming weeks. So, and also just don't forget to keep an eye on social media pages and our websites for opportunities with O'Connors um, and have a chat to your careers teachers and parents if you are interested in doing work experience or um, if anyone's considering a, considering a career in the agricultural industry. So thanks very much for tuning in today. Um, I'll keep an eye out for any questions or anything that might be coming through, um, but I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.